the carbon cycle for kids. What is the fourth most abundant element in the universe that also makes up 20% of the human body plus is a super important part of the processes of all life on Earth? It is carbon and the carbon cycle. First, let's talk a little bit about why carbon is such an important element. Every living thing on Earth needs energy to survive. The main source of this energy comes from the sun. Only plants, algae, and a few types of bacteria are able to use sunlight directly as a source of energy, though. The rest of us need some help, which is where carbon comes in. Carbon is a non-metal element that has two main forms, diamonds and graphite, but it can also be found in charcoal soot, and coal. Carbon sources include volcanic eruptions, the burning of fossil fuels like coal, warm bodies of water, and animal respiration or breathing. When plants take in carbon and oxygen and combine them with energy from the sun, they can make their own food. This process is called photosynthesis. Since photosynthesis allows plants to create their own food, it also helps humans and animals who eat these nutritious plants and get energy from them. This is why carbon is called the basic building block of most living, or organic, and non-living, or inorganic things. Without it, there would be no photosynthesis. And without photosynthesis, there would be no food. Photosynthesis is just one small part of the carbon cycle, and the carbon cycle is essential in maintaining life on Earth and balancing the climate. Here's why. The carbon cycle involves the exchange of carbon between various organic and inorganic elements between and within the atmosphere and the biosphere, or parts of the Earth where life exists. Just like all of the Earth's cycles, there is not a specific starting point or ending point to the carbon cycle. It is a continuous process with several steps. Carbon moves from the atmosphere to plants, plants to animals, plants and animals to the ground, living things to the atmosphere, fossil fuels to the atmosphere, and the atmosphere to oceans. When carbon dioxide, or CO2, is released into the atmosphere, it acts as a greenhouse gas, which traps heat into the atmosphere and helps the Earth stay at a warm enough temperature to support life. Which is great, right? Well, kind of. Right now, there is an imbalance to this system on Earth. Too much carbon is being released into the atmosphere, and not enough is being absorbed. This has led to the Earth becoming warmer than it should be, which has led to climate change. Solutions to helping slow the effects of climate change include planting more trees, cutting down less trees, and using natural energy sources like solar and wind power instead of fossil fuels. Through those kinds of actions, we can all work together to take care of the environment and contribute to the carbon cycle in a helpful way. We have just learned a lot about carbon and the carbon cycle. Let's take a minute to review. Fill in the blank. When carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere, it is called a blank gas. Greenhouse. True or false. Carbon is the basic building block of most all living and non-living things. True. Fill in the blank. The process that uses carbon, oxygen, and sunlight that is necessary to create food for plants and for animals is called blank synthesis. Photo. Nice work, friends. The carbon cycle is necessary for the survival of plants animals, and the planet itself. And we can do our part 
to make sure that this cycle maintains a good balance so that the Earth and its inhabitants can stay healthy for years to come. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.